What's happening guys? Thanks for tuning in again today. We got our CRG cart right here with the Yamaha 6 speed uh, 125. We'll get into that in another video. We got the body uh, body kit on it, the fairings. They're getting wrapped. A lot, uh, we're doing like a, a library on it. So you definitely gonna wanna check that out. Uh, anybody that got any extra info, I need brakes for this bad boy. So while we're still here, we need brakes in the back and front, or at least in the back. So if you got a link for that, please let me know. And we'll be getting to it. We're getting some new tires for it because these got tire rod in them. They've been sitting, as you can tell. We'll get some hoisers put on here. And uh, yeah, let's just go uh, check out what we're here for today, actually. We're here to look at a can that just came in. It's uh, Go Power Sports. 285 camshaft for a Hemi. We'll take a look at that bad boy, but we still waiting on some parts for this baby. And we got this baby right here. We got to wrap it up. I'll post a few videos on it. We still haven't decided on a color. I drained the oil on this. Built 300 cc. Uh, oil wasn't looking too good. It's been sitting a while, so uh, I added some oil in there, some breaking oil at least. Spun it a few times. We'll flush it maybe in a day or so, see what we're looking like, and maybe repeat the process until we get some clear oil in there. But let's go ahead and take a look at this cam. Let me just mount my phone up here. I'll unwrap it. I'll, I'll unwrap the cam, and then I'll uh, give you some info on it on the lift and all that other stuff. You know, standard box. All right, so this is what we have here for starters. I'll give you the grind number, valve timing for the intake exhaust. I recommend the timing. Billet flywheel mandatory. So it gives you a few specs here. This is definitely an important piece of paper. It comes included. This is the cam. Go ahead and take a look at that baby. Clean welds, I can't even lie. I haven't seen many reviews on this cam. I was curious to, as of well, why, what's going on? Why hasn't anyone tried it out? So if you've tried this cam out before I install it and stuff, I'm still gathering parts for the build. Let me know what you think of it, literally. Uh, let me go ahead and put it down. And basically, uh, Go Power Sports uh, has it listed as uh, lift, 0.285 duration 0 0.260 intake center line 107 lobe separation 111 this particular cam that i have here is going to be fitting the tilston 196 212 225 it'll also fit the 212 hemi predator which i'll be building it does say clearance may be required so there might there might need to be some shaving, like tiny little stuff like that. It also fits a 196cc Honda clone and also a Honda GX200. And uh, the little uh, info that they have on it, because I, I wasn't able to find anything on the cam itself, uh, they, they basically they said, uh, Go Power Sports favor. We kept the lift of this cam relatively low, but made up for it with 260 duration and a very aggressive low profile. With a wide power band, approximately 4,000 RPMs and up, a high revving capability. The GPS 285 is perfect for drag racing, street cruising, and circle track. Pair it with a juggernaut driver for an off-road high torque monster. The GPS 285 camshaft with a, with a square lobe design has a very aggressive ramps and requires an upgraded spring package. We already have those, we're going with the 55 pound. 
champion or gauge rockers. We got to order the champion uh, rockers that are the aluminum ones. We're not going to go with the steel ones. Uh, stainless steel valves, we already have those. Billet rod, we have the arc billet rod and we have the arc piston head for it as well. So we're good to go with that and billet flywheel. We still got to order the billet flywheel. Uh, this cam is best used when in our racing head aftermarket ratio rockers and one of the following slide carburetors. 26 millimeter aftermarket Chinese Mikuni, 24 millimeter Mikuni flat slide or 28, 28 millimeter Mikuni flat slide. The lobes of the GPS 285 are welded and grounded ensure durability and long life even when paired with 55 pound dual springs. So yeah, we're definitely going to be push, pushing, pushing. So that's the little specs that they give on it. Not too many reviews, it's like two, three reviews on it. Um, so we'll, we'll, I guess we'll see uh, when, we, when we get it installed, but it's, it's a solid looking cam. I mean, all the work is there. It's very clean, not sloppy at all. Go Power Sports did a great job, I think. Let me know what you think, but. That's about it for today. We were taking a look at this cam. Just wanted to show it to you guys real quick. Uh, if you know anyone running it, or if you're running it yourself, please let me know. I'd love to hear more on it and what you think of it. And uh, basically just your input on it. I, I haven't heard anybody running it yet. So let's see. Uh, but thanks again for tuning in, guys. And you guys have a wonderful weekend. All right? Bye-bye.